the stronger looks better and younger, more fresh and energized. So today we will work on our chest muscle. Uh, some people said, oh, I have a problem, like my arms and back, it's so big, but chest muscle is just uh, not in the same condition, it's smaller or weaker or whatever. So chest, it's like everything, you push it, put it together, and basically, basically if like, for legs or back, you just take the big weights, you can see how it's pumped it up straight or bicep, you open your bicep, you can feel it, yeah, it's quite similar exercises, but when you, let's say you push a bar or so on the back, on the chest, so also it's shoulders work, so the triceps and your back, so sometimes like uh, all that group of muscles, they steal away from your chest, and your chest has not enough pressure on it. So, uh, it's same like in anywhere else, you need to just to concentrate and focus it on the chest muscle and just feel it, how it works. So you push it with the chest or not. So the best way is just uh, start with small ways and just feel you work it well on. So if you have some dumbbells, it's perfect because you need to balance the music. It's like uh, free ways, it's the best for your muscle. And girls don't worry, you can do the same exercises for your guys. Just take the small weights and work on it, it really works well for you. So just pump it up. So I will take some dumbbells and let's get started. And some mistakes I think by a lot in gyms and people just put it like up here, maybe a bit more than 90 degrees and push it. Yeah, it's quite easy and agree, but we need to stretch, we need to stretch our muscles, so put it as low as possible and push it and focus it on our chest to be sure it works. So I'll show you some basic exercises, so next time we go to gym you already know what to do and give you know some exercises for your legs, for your back, shoulders, so you look like experienced athlete. Okay. And don't worry if you work with the small weights, like from training to training, when your muscles get a bit stronger, you can increase it. So let's start from a classical one. Next training, you can do all of the same exercises but on the static. So, you put it to be too cold. Take rest, and after making 90 degrees, take rest, and put it here, and take rest. It's for making your joints and tendons stronger, 
but for sure prevent your injuries, especially if you stretch or sometimes you don't warm up enough or you just take a big waist down. You stretch your tendon or a problem with your joints and so on, but you try to make it safer as possible and prevent any injuries as possible. So static exercise is like really, really important. A lot of people not do it because you cannot see with any result from it. Some women do because it's helpful to get slimmer and like a bit more puffed. But for guys, you cannot see like uh, any visible effect. But still, uh, especially for beginners, it's really good for make your muscles stronger. So it will give you ability to lift more weights further on. If you will not stop training, you will go and go again, but I'm sure. If you start training one, two months, you will see you like you get a good bit better shape. You will never stop again. You will never come back to the previous condition of your body. So additional training, all the same stuff, you can do just a static. So it can be like light training, just hold it, one and a half minute, take rest, hold it again, hold it here. So the classical lifting, walking on the chest, so you put it down somewhere on a level of your nipples. And for your middle part, you can do another exercise or you can lift it from here. But mostly this works in the triceps and out from the chest by 50-50. And for turn on your chest muscle even more. So when you finish your exercise, so yeah, I mean when you finish your fast, just put it up as strong as possible. So put it down, put it up, and try to stretch it a little bit more. Just for work your muscle like in a hundred percent. If you need to go for balance for the first time, you can put it It's really good exercises when you stretch your chest, put it lower as possible. Don't try to take big dumbbells. Even the smaller ones will really work well and give you like a really good shape of side of your chest and also you should work in the middle part. Additionally, when you work with your back muscles, some exercises you can work with the chest and put it down. But the chest work just additionally, just to work with it. But still, I'll show you the example. Tell me that you love me. Tell me it was worth. 
perfect All the pain you caused me I know that we weren't perfect I feel I have a curse that Nothing I do works And I know that you've been hurt But I know we've had it worse yet. And I don't wanna fake it Any more than I have to Feeling tortured, I grab you Try to snap us both back you When I felt like I had you It just feels like a bad move But you're turning your back soon I've been stabbed in the back too So it's over now It's over now There's no way we can work it out Can't work it out Every word that's coming out your mouth Is filled with doubt I don't have time to figure out What that's about I don't wanna break you down But I could feel your emotion And there's nothing to open I just think that we're broken I could feel the erosion Like the coast to the ocean Every day we're approaching Just another explosion just to fall asleep I think I'm meant to do yeah. I just need to fall asleep Put my mind at ease Don't wanna think, just breathe yeah. So Everything you work in the middle, like 90 degrees, it's work in the middle part of chest. Everything you put it down, so you can take a bar and put it down, so you lay down, you get upside down, so it works in the lower part. But my favorite is do dips. You make the dips, and it works very well on your lower part. So basically, everything you push it down, it works on the lower part. Push it up. If up here, on shoulders, if like, let's say 45 degrees, it's upper part. So I'm still stay up at night, of course, and think about what might restore. My heart so I could feel once more. When you go up, try to increase. Same with the push ups from the floor, put it as far as possible. Same with the dips, when you finish your fires, just try to go up as far as possible. So on your chest, simple. You can work on a Swiss machine, but again, Swiss machine, it's only for small weights. Like, it's not a good idea, like, take 160 kilo and push it or make squats, because it's very fixed and your joints in not really comfortable position, same way you make a squat. So it's quite high probability for getting an injury, so you should be very really careful with that. But it might be perfect like another machine for legs or chest. When you walk with free weights and you pump completely everything in pain, you cannot walk with weights anymore. So you go and walk with the machines on small weights. Don't worry about your upper part, upper part pushing down, up, or pushing up about 45 degrees, but you will check the angle, what works well for you. Some guys do quite a big angle, and still the chest working, and some they said, like, I feel only my uh, shoulders working this exercise, so just 
make it smaller, make it bigger. It works everything for you. One training you can put lower, another training you can put higher, but usually it's about like 45 degrees, it's what work for me. And you concentrate and you feel like your upper part is working. Basic exercises, it's everything you need. So, basically, for gaining big muscles, for being pumped enough, just do the base exercises. And three ways it works the best. So I think, in my opinion. Okay, so hopefully, these basic exercises will be really helpful for you. So, now you go to the gym, you already know what to do with your chest and how to work on it properly. And I hope you will get really good results soon. I'm the fucking boss in it. Back, matter of fact, making racks where it's at. Have my back to the 